as I mentioned uh, the other day, um, this is my first week on a new team at work. Uh, teams were arranging teams. I think there's like 15 people on a team and average. But so it's a new group of people, people I I don't re I didn't really know beforehand. And um, last uh, or this morning, I had a list of getting to know you questions. I put in our, um, our instant messenger at work, you know, so everybody would would see it and um, you get a lot of responses. But um, I've got a series of questions, you know, about you know just about personality stuff. And my last question is in in that group was how do you feel about the zombie apocalypse mm, it's kind of a weird question i guess um but i don't i don't, don't want to just meet people and throw that question out there because that's kind of weird and i don't want people to think i'm too weird but i i still it's in the back of my mind whenever i meet anybody no it has been probably for six or eight months that's how I quantify everybody I meet. Um, if I don't ask that, I'm thinking about how they would be on my my uh, survival team, because the the zombie apocalypse is not extremely probable, um, but it is possible. You know, it could happen. Something like, and I really do feel that something in our lives, in our life. In the, in the next 60 years you know, in my lifetime, something is going to happen that affects a lot of people. I don't know if that's what's going to be, or maybe something else, but I really do feel that something is going to happen. And, like, who do I want on my side, on my team? Who would I want? And I judge people by that, or judge is kind of the wrong word, but I kind of look at people, quantify them based on that, and, like, I ask myself, and I look at the person, and I find out answers to these questions, like, have you ever hunted before? Were you in Boy Scouts? Were you in Girl Scouts? Are you squeamish about eating things? Um, have you used a gun? You know, I mean, there's these things about about surviving that, that, are, that are key and important to me. And I look at people, like, are they strong, fast, resourceful? Um... You know, endurance is a really big thing for me now. Didn't used to be. And to an extent, I think everybody kind of quantifies people as who will be on my team. You know, who who's on my side. Who I don't. Who do I trust? Who do I want to watch my back? Um, not everybody asked in relation to zombie problems. That's just that is kind of out there. It's kind of it's unique and not probably something that everybody does, but that's, that's, that's what I do, you know, I, I, when I meet people, I want to know, I, I think, you know, I really like this person, but they couldn't, you know, they, I think if, if I don't want somebody watch my back, it's harder for me to form a relationship with somebody, if, I wouldn't want them to be on my side if poop hit the fan, you know, and if somebody, it, if everybody, if the world goes crazy and everybody's running around trying to eat you, who do you want to watch your back? Who do you want to be on your side? Really, I mean, yeah, look at, look at the, look at the person next to you right now. Right as you're watching this video, if you're on the bus and you've got a little iPhone player and you're listening to it, and, and you, uh, do you want that guy on, on your team? Really? Come on. Or, you know, I mean, and I do that everywhere now. When I'm walking in Walmart, I'm thinking, if poop goes down right now, who do I want on my side? Because, whatever. Um... My wife and I watched uh, two more episodes of Walking Dead huh, this afternoon, and I think that's why it's such a big deal to me right now. Yeah.